Hello everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to my very first Gypsy How To video. I am so excited to be starting this new little segment on my blog. This is to help all of you um, brand new Gypsy owners as well as uh, the existing Gypsy owners to pretty much, this is just, I'm just going to do like a little series of videos. There's not going to be a whole bunch, there's probably going to be like maybe three top or four tops at the most I'm only going to be like I'm going to try my best to explain everything and kind of get to the point um I don't want to I'm not going to do a project with each explanation because I figure if you want to see a project I have way more than plenty on my blog you could always refer back to my blog for any projects and I do make a point in each and every one of my videos that I do do um, I do make it a point to kind of point out different little features that I am working with if just in case that might help you also but this particular series all I'm gonna do I'm gonna go down the list in here and I'll show you with a little help button I'm gonna go down the list and kind of just give you a quick explanation of each feature so I really really hope this helps a lot of you out there okay let's go ahead and get started when you first receive your gypsy when you turn around turn it on you're gonna go ahead and click on this little button and that is your settings feature this is where you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna calibrate your screen right here so pretty much what you do with that you're gonna go ahead and click on that same like if you have your imagine you know how you had to calibrate the screen so you're just gonna click on all the little pluses and my friend actually Nikki does that to her gypsy once a month which is a very great good idea to do and then you're gonna go ahead and set your date and time but usually that's all set up I didn't have to do anything that but on this here right or left this here I never tried it before because I always I just had it automatically on the right handed because that's exactly what I am but apparently if you um, click on left hand everything switches to the other side for the left-handed people so that's what that feature is and you probably want to do that um, as soon as you get your gypsy okay so let's go ahead and exit out of there okay so here it goes right here what you want to do is click on this little silver button right here and you're gonna click on the one that says help okay now if you've gotten your gypsy and you already knew about this what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kinda go ahead it tells you everything what we're going to do is kind of go through um, probably the first let's see we're going to go through the first six features I'm going to go ahead and show you right now okay so let's go ahead and exit out of here okay we already did the calibrate what we are going to do is the menu button okay okay this little silver button here is your menu button and this pretty much shows you your um, battery life there it gives you the little help information and if you want to exit the program or if you want to cancel so if you want to exit the program this is what it will it'll go back to that screen right there but we, okay so now that we did the menu button we're gonna go ahead and click on the little cricket head and we're gonna go over some of the features that will appear on the screen once you click on that little cricket head and the very first button we're gonna work with is this one called new now this is the one you will open every single time you want to create a new design so you're gonna click on new okay once you get to this page here you will have three options to to use you could either use your 12 by 6 which works with your baby bug a 12 by 12 mat or your 12 by 24 so once you go ahead and make your selection you're gonna click on it and I usually do 12 by 12 and this is what's gonna come with so that's the mat you're gonna be using with your Cricut um, or your imagine if you're gonna cut with it okay so let's go ahead what we are gonna do we're gonna go to the next feature and we're gonna go ahead and click on our menu button and then we are going to work with this new one here it's called open this one it looks like a little file folder you're gonna open that <coughs> and that one just takes you to this screen that opens up a previous file okay now this one here it didn't show this on the actual remember how I showed you at the beginning of the help button it didn't tell you how to do this here but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you 
how it stores, you know how, for example, if you save your project, um, where it says save as, and you type in what you want it to save, if you put a number at the beginning, that will save it first. Those will save first, okay? Now, if you go ahead and do the very first letter in capitals, that'll come after your numbers, and then after that, if you save everything in lowercase, that will come like that, okay? So that's pretty much how that feature, so saying for example, if you want to just do, I have this one called scallop circles. So that's, you want to go ahead and click on one of your existing file, then you go ahead and open it from there. Okay, so that's how that one is. Now we're going to click on our menu button again, and we're going to go over this next file folder that says open as a template. Okay. Now for this one is explained saying that it says open a previous previously saved file as a template. This, this will take the images in the saved file and place them on a layer called the template. Now pretty much this feature will help if you want to use an existing, existing design as a reference for a new project. So for example, saying for example if I wanted to do, um, okay, I wanted to do something that has Say, for example, if I wanted to use my Peachy Keen stamp faces, and I want my faces, the circles, to be a certain size. So I'm just going to look in here at my template. I'm going to click on two and a half inch circles. So if I click on this, you notice how it's gray? That's going to be my template. So I figure, you know what, this is perfect. This is exactly the size I need. So I could use this to st as a reference to start a new design. I hope that makes sense. I don't use this very often only because I'm the type that likes to do brand new stuff all the time. I don't like to kind of repeat myself, so I don't really use this too much. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hit, click on our menu button again. We're going to go over, um, let's see, we are going to delete a file. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on delete a file. And now, just so you'll know, once you delete a file, it pretty much leaves forever and there's no way, no way to recover it so you want to make sure this is something you actually do not need anymore so how you do that now let me see um, let me find something I, I actually want to delete let's see um, no okay let's go ahead and delete this file what you want to do is highlight the file you want to delete and it's going to click on the button that says delete and it's asking you do you want to permanently delete this file if you're not sure click no but if you know you want to delete it for sure you're going to go ahead and click on yes and now the file is gone into gypsy heaven it's gone forever you cannot recover it so make sure you know you want to delete it for sure okay before you do it all right Trust me, I know because I've deleted a file before and I was like, oh, maybe I can recover it. No, 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 no. You cannot, okay? And now that we went ahead and deleted a, deleted a file, now we're going to go back and do the other. Uh, there's another feature on here. Um, if you click on your menu button, it's linking your cartridges, okay? Which is this feature right here. So what you want to do, um, let me see if I can find a cartridge that I have not linked yet. Um... Okay, and I know I have one. <laughs> okay, I knew I had a cartridge that I haven't linked yet. So here it goes right here. We are going to link. Let me zoom out here so you can see here. I'm going to link Boys Will Be Boys, okay? And I haven't used this yet. I really want to use it. And the one cord you want to use is this cord right here that will come in your package when you do purchase your Gypsy. And what you want to do is just go ahead and grab your cartridge. Go ahead and... This is the problem I was having. I thought something was wrong with mine when I first got it. Make sure this is in all the way, okay? I wasn't doing that. So what you want to do is make sure you go ahead and connect your cartridge there. And then you're going to connect this part down here underneath your gypsy. So I usually like squeeze in the little sides right there. Then I just go ahead and push that in, okay? Once you got that part done, what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and click on, so now that it's connected to your Gypsy, you're going to click on OK. And it's reading the cartridge and it says, attention, this process permanently links the attached cartridge to your Gypsy. If you want to do this, yes. Which, I'm sorry, it doesn't say yes, it just says OK. 
and then you always go ahead and just click on I agree and then this will permanently link your cartridge now whatever you do ladies and gentlemen if you purchase this do not or if you don't have one yet do not let someone else link their cartridges link your cartridges into their gypsy because once you've done that you will not be able to link your own cartridges into your own gypsy one day when you get it so definitely keep that in mind okay very super important okay congratulations you have successfully linked this cartridge to this gypsy would you like to link another cartridge and if you do you're gonna go ahead and click on yes and if you don't just click on no and that's about it okay so thank you so much for joining my very part my very first gypsy how-to video I hope this helps some of you out there and I will have another video again for you very soon. And if you would like to refer back to any of the Gypsy How To videos, I will have a link starting on Monday, November 1st at the top of my blog where the Cricut cartridges are and that and it will say it will say Gypsy How To. They will be there. All of my Gypsy How To videos will be there at your fingertips 24 hours a day for free. So have a wonderful day, everybody, and I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.